students, good morning. Um, Friday, last day of the week, so congratulations for making it through another week, and hopefully you have a good weekend. Um, I hope you're ready for this quiz. Um, I did not try to make it either super hard or super easy. I just put the facts on there that I told you would be on there, and I hope you studied. Um, I hope you're reaping the, um, the benefits of working hard. Um, let's go over this quiz. Before I do some announcements, um, there will be a test next Friday, as far as I know, unless something uh, strange comes up. Um, you do owe me homework from last night, uh, so please turn that in before you leave today. Homework from last night. Um, there were some incompletes that I listed on Monday that some of you were really starting to rack up. Those are supposed to be turned in today, so make sure they are. And then Tara, you have a makeup quiz to take by today. A makeup quiz to take by today. So um, there we go. There's the information. Get your quizzes out. Hopefully your pencils are down. Please do not cheat. And here we go. Um, are you ready? I know that you really can't see um, on the screen probably all these words. They're pretty small, but I'm, I'm on number two on the quiz. So you can look at your quiz and see what number two says. Definition of a rhombus. A parallelogram with four congruent sides. A parallelogram with four congruent sides. A rectangle is a par parallelogram with four right angles. A parallelogram with four right angles. A square is a parallelogram with four congruent sides and four right angles. Or if you said um, four right angles and four congruent sides, that's fine also. A trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly one pair of parallel sides. An isosceles trapezoid number six is a trapezoid with congruent legs. The rhombus kit corollary states, and I've got to think about this for a second, let's see, um, If a parallelogram has four congruent sides, then it is a rhombus. The rectangle corollary states, if a parallelogram has four right angles, then it is a rectangle. And the square corollary states, if a parallelogram has four right angles and four congruent sides, or if you turn that around, four congruent sides and four right angles, then it is a square. And students, I just checked, and I did make one mistake, and I apologize. Everything I've said is correct. On 7, 8, and 9, I'm going to circle them for you, 7, 8, and 9. I just went back and checked. I paused the video. It's not if a parallelogram, and I wondered when I was saying that, so I went back and checked. It's if a quadrilateral, and the rectangle corollary states if a quadrilateral, and the square corollary states if a quadrilateral okay and I said parallelogram 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 so please um, understand that okay uh, let's take a look at theorem 610 number 10 right here you can kind of follow the blue bouncing ball here um, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular that's theorem 610 theorem 611 the diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. And then theorem number, let's see, theorem 612 states if a trapezoid is isosceles, then each pair of base angles is congruent. All right, and that's uh, theorem 612 and then theorem 613. If a trapezoid has a pair of congruent base, congruent base angles, then it is 
and isosceles trapezoid. All right. Okay, pause the video again. I'll try to liven up. I apologize, students. I'm tired, as you can tell. Okay, well, those fill-in-the-blanks were definitely less than adequate, but I hope you could hear what I said, and I will try to perk up a little bit. Okay, moving on to your quiz. Um, I'm not sure what number this is, but it's the next one on your quiz. And what it said is, is find the three missing angles. Okay, and I told you it was an isosceles trapezoid. Well, whenever you have an isosceles trapezoid, you know that the base angles are congruent, so angle D would be 52 degrees. And then um, 52 plus 52 is 104, and you know all four angles have to add up to 360, so that would leave you with uh, 256 for these two angles. So that means one angle is 128, and the other angle is 128, because these angles up here also have to be congruent when you have an isosceles trapezoid. All right, so there's the answers. Okay, moving on to the next problem. Um, I believe the direction set to find the two missing angles. Now, anytime you have a trapezoid, these legs right here, the two angles, one's here and one's here, they're always going to be supplementary. Always, always. Okay, so we are looking at uh, what would that be? 92 degrees for this one right here. So angle F would be 92. And how did I know that? Because add these two angles together. 92 plus 88 is 180. Okay. And now let's come over here. Well, these two angles on this leg right here have to be supplementary also. So if that's 40, this has to be 140 because 140 plus 40 is 180. So the measure to angle G is 140 degrees. Moving on. Ooh, mid-segment problems. Remember how to do these? You take the base and the base, you add them together and divide by 2. So 7 plus 11 equals 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. So the answer is 9. That's your mid-segment, 9. All right, moving on. Ooh, I've given you a base and I've given you the mid segment. You got to find the missing base. Well, I told you to always take the mid segment, always, and double it. Multiply it by two, always. And then you subtract out the other base, and this, or, yeah, the other base in this case is 10, and you're left over with 6. So PQ equals 6. All right, moving on. Okay, is this a parallelogram? Well, the, the file, well, you know what I forgot to, to state way back at the very beginning of the quiz. So let's pause and let's just do it right now. And I apologize. At the very beginning of the quiz, I forgot to read off to you um, the five ways to prove that a quadrilateral is a parallelogram. So in any order, both sets of opposite angles have to be congruent. So both, well, I'm not going to write all that down, but both sets of opposite angles have to be congruent. Both sets of opposite sides have to be congruent. All right. Um, number three, both sets of opposite sides have to be parallel. They have to be parallel. Number four, the diagonals um, must bisect each other. The diagonals must, must bisect each other. And lastly, um, an angle must be supplementary to, keyword right here, to both of its consecutive angles, all right? So an angle must be supplementary to both of its consecutive angles. Those are the five ways, all right? And I'm not sure what I did there. <clears throat> all right, here we go. Um, all right. Um, so, um, is, this is this a parallelogram? Well, are these opposite angles congruent? Yes. But are these opposite angles congruent? I have no idea. It doesn't say. And both sets of opposite angles have to be congruent in order for you to say yes. So the answer is no. No. It might be a parallelogram, but you can't state that for sure. All right, number 19. This side here is congruent to this side here. 
and this side here is congruent to this side here. So do we have both sets of opposite sides congruent? Yes, we do. So the answer is yes. And how do we know why? Both pairs of sides are what? Congruent. All right. Moving on to number 20. Um, this angle has one slash and this angle has one slash. So are these two angles, are these opposite angles congruent? Yes, they are. And are these opposite angles here congruent? Yes, they are. So when both sets of opposite angles are congruent, you have a parallelogram. So yes, and the answer is both sets opposite angles congruent. All right, All right number 21. Uh, be careful on this one. The answer is no. And you say, Mr. Earhart, these two angles add up to 180. I know, students, but I told you that if you're going to use the supplementary angle reason, I told you this on the Friday I came in a week ago, if you're going to use the supplementary reason, you must have three angles. In other words, if you've got a 50 here and 130 here, you must have a 50 here. You must have three three angles. This 130 in the middle has to be supplementary to this angle and this angle both. Or you could have had this. If we had 130 written right here, that would be fine because these two angles are supplementary and these two angles are supplementary. But we didn't have that. Here's the only thing I gave you is this right here. Now, yes, these two angles are supplementary, but you need a third angle either here or here and we did go over that Friday so the answer is no all right well yeah so yes definitely look here's a diagonal here's a diagonal notice this segment here is congruent to this segment here and notice this segment here is congruent to this segment here so yes and what's the reason um, the diagonals bisect each other all right and I believe that's the last problem on the quiz. Now I'm going to, uh, don't turn this video off, I'm going to pause it and I want to look something up um, and, and I'm concerned that those who have not done their assignments, their makeup work, might want to do that over the weekend. So I want to give you the name, in fact I might have it right here, I want to give you the name of the video that was Monday's class. Okay here it is right here, I found it. If you have not turned in all of your incompletes and you want to work on those of the weekend, which obviously you need to, they should be turned in today. Um, that's what I said. But on Monday, we watched this video right here. And on this video, at the very beginning of the video, do you remember what I did? I listed out everybody's incompletes. And I put your name in the video to watch. Well, if you want to go back and watch that video on YouTube, it's Brian. Academy geometry and then I had six dash five let me check and make sure that's right Let's see Monday yes that's right so if you will YouTube students this video right here and just type it in it'll pop up and you watch that at the very beginning of it it will list out everybody's incompletes your name and what video you need to watch to find the assignment so I hope you'll do that have a good weekend I hope you did well on your quizzes please don't forget to put your bonus points on your quizzes